Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Discussing Comics. I'm Clarence. I'm Kyle. And today we're going to be talking about an, an event we went to in Columbus, Mississippi called the Golden Triangle, Triangle. Comic Con. Yep. So did you even know what the Golden Triangle was before? I actually did, because of my HR roots, uh, there is a Golden uh, Triangle Human Resources Association. Oh, okay. So I actually kind of knew about it. Okay. I actually des uh, designed a logo for them one time. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. wow. The Triangle, get it? Golden <laughs> Triangle. Yeah, my first time hearing about it, I guess, is West Point, Starkville, and Columbus. Columbus. Yep. So yeah, so uh, we went to that event, and uh, what did you think about it, Cal? I thought it was really cool. Uh, I like the fact that the... People there were very welcoming, and I mean that from the people who were attending the con, but specifically to the people who were organizing and behind the con. They were really, really welcoming, welcomed us, and just from watching people, I think everybody had a pretty good time. Yeah, yeah it seems like the attendees had a good time. Uh, the vendors all seemed pretty cool. Like you said, the ultra organization was really well uh, welcomed yeah. Yeah, and executed. Yeah, so overall, yeah, it was just a good con and uh, mostly uh, well, it was all family friendly environment as well. So. so, if you were to say, would we go back in 2018? Would we go? Oh, definitely. A Absolutely. That's an easy answer. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so, what do we do there? Do you, I mean, uh, a few panels? Yeah, we, we had, uh, you know, the most important thing we had a <laughs> Doctor Who panel and we also had a Marvel versus DC panel, which was quite interesting. So I have to ask you, if you could choose one to be your favorite, which one would it oh, be? Oh, no, no, no. Do, do not do that to <laughs> Cause, Because it's almost blasphemed to say anti, you know, Doctor Who. Exterminate. Yeah, exterminate. <laughs> but you know what? I really have to say, for that particular setup, I really enjoyed the Marvel versus DC panel. Yeah, yeah. We had some uh, a few animated individuals in that panel, which made it really, really enjoyable. Uh, one being this, I think you said nine year old, nine, nine or ten year old, old kid. kid that looked like the 1977. He was cosplaying, of course, but the original Luke Skywalker, Kennel, I mean, Mattel or whatever, Kenner or whatever the brand was, action figure. So that was cool. Yeah, yeah. He was awesome and very well versed in, in who he wanted to uh, <laughs> absolutely back in the war of uh, DC versus yes. Marvel. Yes. I mean, he was a Marvel guy. True and through, and <laughs> as Stanley would say, he was a literally true believer. Oh yeah, agreed. And we also had one other individual that was pretty. Uh, he's more on the DC side, yeah. but he was a sort of like me, a reluctant DC follower. Maybe uh, you know he he sees the faults in the films, but he still kind of wanted to back the franchise. Interesting. There was someone, and I'm a big fan of Wonder Woman, obviously, but uh, there was someone who had seen the movie five times that really shocked me and you know what really shocked me was that well it really actually i guess shouldn't shock me was the fact that when you ask the question and ask people to raise their hand about the inhumans which we have also talked about the trailer on one of our videos here no one raised their hand yeah it's pretty much crickets <laughs> yes i mean like no one was excited to see the inhumans and i just don't know I was a little shocked zero people raised their hands, but, you know, it's kind of indicative of what's been going on in the comics, and they're trying to bring that over to TV, maybe movie someday, uh, universe. Maybe, and maybe it's the fact that nobody really even knows, <laughs> and I don't want to say obviously cares, yeah. who they are. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely true. So, um, any cosplay or anything you saw besides the awesome Luke Skywalker that uh, kind of piqued your interest? Let's see. Um, well, there was one that was Solomon Grundy, and we saw him build the face throughout the day. That was really cool. Yes, yes. What about you? A... Were there any cosplayers that caught your attention? That... Uh, there was a female Matt Smith, which okay. was pretty awesome. All right. Um, there was a Wonder Woman, which was probably my favorite of the day, and uh, that is, um, I'm trying to remember, what's the... Candy Girl yeah, cosplay. Can, yeah, Candy, Candy Girl cosplay, and yeah, she was awesome. You should check her out. But yeah, overall, I thought the cosplay was really cool as well. So if you were to rate, you know, obviously, like I said, I'm a fan of Wonder Woman, so I'm going to take me out of the rating. <laughs> but if you were to rate on a scale of one to ten, what would you give? Oh, uh, the movie or the cosplay? The cosplay. <laughs> well, the movie we know it was a ten, but, yeah, but for the cosplay. Well. Uh, definitely a, a ten, but she was more of the Linda Carter right. uh, uh, inspired. 
with the Galga, though, is more Gladiator, which you right. mentioned. So, yeah, it was a little different, uh, a little harkening back to the classic, but, you know, very, very awesome nonetheless. It's cool. Well, I, that's what I pick with you today. So cool <laughs> Any other takeaways? No, there? but if anybody wants to find out more about the Comic-Con for this year's Golden Triangle or want to put it in your browser and save the bookmark for next year, you can go to gtcomiccon.com and we will have them uh, information or we'll have information about them in the notes below. So thanks for watching. We'll be back. Thanks, guys.